But right now, we're going right to the business. Let's get it. And on Battlefield no less too, which is a, this is a pretty powerful stage for Mithra Pyra, which they can do a lot of lap ladder uh, combos with their back air, get you in lots of juggle situations. And they have the top platform to kind of retreat with their uppies as well. But in uh, the Snake's case in hand, oof, hold up. I gotta compliment that chase off the grenade as well. Very, very clean. All right, and okay, Bobo. Kind of playing really hard right now with all these tech chases as well and the grenade setup as too, but Reed with a very nice get up attack is going to be negating all that risky business. And like I was saying before, the grenades are going to be pretty helpful for a lot of setups on these platforms as well. Not to mention kind of just trapping your opponent and the grenade, the C4 as well. If your opponent is not watching out, you already know. As you already know they're stumbling through the minefield. Oops! Right there, in your face. And right now, I really love how Bobo is playing, setting up shop in the center as well to kind of shut down Reed's Pyra. But as we know, that side B kind of eats those uh, eats those grenades up like it's Reese's Puffs. Just eats them all on up. And that DI was mad sus out here. The first knock going to Bobo right now, and you can see the diff you can already see the the crazy difference between him and Eliakim. Utilizing oh, all right, still hanging on, but. Using those grenades so, so well in this matchup to kind of control the pace as well. And beautiful conversion off the back here into the... Oh, yep. oh, I just had to get in the redemption in, but I looked away and... All right, even game right now. Bobo setting up once again with the grenades. Not really having to hang on to them because Reed has really not been able to kind of get in and get very, very crazy combos. But that may be chasing, changing very, very soon. As you can see, I'm just standing up, but you can't be jumping onto Snake like that, or else you're gonna get the good old boots. It's back to military camp, all right? You can see Reed trying to play a little more patient, trying to slow it down just a little bit to find their openings. But this is kind of where Bobo excels, kind of abusing that patience. Like, he knows that he really wants to just get back right into the game. And these down throw chase setups, they are kind of destroying Reed at the moment. And it, yep, it's PSA, C4, always got to remember, top platform this time, chat. Got to be watching. All right, Bobo reset in the position of the C4 in the center. And trying to just set up with the Pyra and Mithra on the ledge. Up he not gonna be able to do the work and ooh, reading the side beat to get the Nikita off so beautifully played. Right now, uh, things are things are not looking good for, for Reed over here. Now, with Myth or Pyro, right? You just gotta be not. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Now the way to switch it up. I ain't seen no force. You can force that through the grenades, and Bobo really hasn't been baiting that out too, too much. And um, Reed's really an answered this time around to kind of find the solution to around these grenades that he's kind of just setting up to ruin combos and just allow him to kind of just shut down these jumping approaches from Reed. And you can already see Reed switching it up a bit, just trying to find that spot to where they can finally get in. But inevitably, your combo is going to get dropped by these grenades. Already 33 from these grenades alone. But Lightning Buster, all right, the wake up option. Getting a little bit of damage in. And you can see that slow, slow patience kind of coming into effect now. All right, the switch to the Pyra. Hoping to get in a down air, a side B. But this is the thing Pyra is a very slow character. While they do eat up those grenades and kind of snake, catch Snake committing. Your opponent can just easily just jump over and kind of run up in your face as Bobo is kind of doing this game around. And look at that war coming from back here. That war coming from back here is doing so much work. And you can see the C4 just putting in so much work simply by being there. And this is the main way that you get Mithropyra. Just push them to the ledge and edge guard them for kind of free if you got that. But all right. Not able to get a kill off that down air, but setting up for a nice ledge trap. 
Things are looking pretty solid for Reed right now. Unfortunately, Grenade gonna get interrupted. Ooh, that movement looking mad crisp out here. Ooh, and the tech chase too. All right, setting up shop once again. Not able to get the edge guard though on the lightning, but um, the side B though. Bobo making beautiful use of these platforms, kind of maneuvering all around Battlefield right now. Really shutting down Reed's approaches. Not able to, he's not just able to get in. Bobo's literally kind of doing the box. Bro is dancing on this man. And the Lightning Buster ain't gonna catch none. And unfortunately, that Lightning Buster is not gonna catch this time around. And the C4 gonna put in the work on the top, and that's gonna be 204 Bobo. That was that was incredibly rough. You can already tell that Bobo knows that knows and does the work in the Ages matchup. He could just feel and see, reads every, every option, and he had an answer for every single situation. I forgot, I was gonna put these on. There we go. It hurts to see uh, a fellow Aegis.